Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. And today we're going to be looking at a way of selecting an object using the color range feature in Photoshop. Now we're used to using the magic wand um, probably most of the time to select our object or go with a one of the marquee tools. Uh, but we're going to try and do it in a quick way today and you'll see that it does a pretty good job at it as well. Now what's important while using the color range feature is that your object is very color contrasted compared to your background if you want to cut it out. So if I had a green apple here on the green background, it wouldn't work as well as if I have this lovely red apple on a green background. Now if you have a black object on a white background, a uh, blue object on a yellow background, you understand the, the meaning of this now? So you need a big, a nice contrast between the object that you want to select and your background. In this case, green and red and even some whites and blues in there, that's perfect. So let's get at it. What we need to do is go in here and just select color range. It's that simple. And then what you want to do with your eyedropper is select the background. Now as you can see, there's still some gray in there. So we want to hold the shift key down and you'll see the plus sign appears on the eyedropper. And we're just going to go and select everything until the complete background is white. Now what we want to do is make sure that our apple stays black and that it's almost completely black in the books as well. You can play with your fuzziness um, and all the way down or not. I think this looks good at around 70 or so. And you just click OK. And boom, you got your selection done. All right, now what we want to do, if we want to move the object into another image, uh, we want to go to Select Inverse. We want to, before it was selecting the background, and now, now it's actually selecting the object when you use Inverse. Now let's say I want to put that apple in that book into this beautiful blue sky. Just go back to that image, use the Move tool, and let's just move it a little on the side here. Click on your object and drag it into your sky. And then let's move it to the side here. And it's that simple. So when you have a, a nice contrast between your background and your object, um, this, the uh, uh, color range tool in the select menu color range is a great option for something that's really quick to do. Um, if we look at at 100%, you can see the detail here is there. There's no jagged edges. Uh, the fuzziness at around 70 was perfect. Sometimes you have to do trial and error and you'll see, whoops, okay, selected part of my object. Let's go back and uh, do another selection, maybe with a little less or a little more fuzziness. And uh, that's all you need to do is to play with it. Even in the corners here, it looks really good. And the only thing that we have is a little bit of a green tint on the apple. That's due from the reflection of the light from the green background. And we could play with that uh, and desaturate our, uh, our greens a little bit. You can even see the, the apple stem here. It looks really good. And there you go. It's a quick and easy tutorial on how to use the color range feature in Photoshop to select an object. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Yannick Chauvin signing out. Bye-bye.